If you're new to reselling or just starting out, a lot of times you probably already have a nine to five and you're just doing it on your lunch break. So what I wanted to do in today's video is I just wanted to stop at one Goodwill. We just got the car wash next door. I figured, hey, let's stop into this one Goodwill and pretend that we're on our lunch break and see how much profit we can find. And maybe this will help new people or people getting into reselling. Let's get it. All right, so we're shoe resellers. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the shoes. Looking at the top here for the kids section. Don't really have much at this store. Again, we're on our lunch break, so we're just going to move pretty quickly. We're going to go over to the men's shoes. And there's a pair of Brooks. Let's go ahead and check those out. Those aren't Brooks. Those are crappy shoes. Oof. That kind of lets us know what type of pricing they've been doing on the shoes beat up pair of brooks for 24 here's some mizuno some asics 24.99 yeah this is going to be a no-go on shoes it looks like and we will have to find other ways to make money I want to point out that if you're doing this on your lunch break, then more than likely you aren't specifically selling in one category. We're full-time, so we sell in shoes. So if you go into a thrift store on your lunch break and they don't have anything, let's say you like shoes, so that's the first thing you check, and the shoes are priced high, you're still on your lunch break. You need to diversify and start looking at other ways that you can make money. These Alabama championship whiskey glasses, 99 cents each. So you're basically gonna be able to turn $2. That was a single sold for $17.99 plus $12.50 shipping. So for $2, you could possibly make around 30 bucks. That's a good start. Besides shoes, I love selling hats, especially vintage ones. This is a dead stock or still has the original tag, Caesars Palace. Whoopsie. Now, I didn't find the exact same style, but I did find some similar nylon ones. Should be able to get around $20. Typically for plush, I'm looking for something that's vintage or nostalgic. This is a Tweety Bird, uh, but mom said that we were keeping this, so this is not for sale. Now, I don't know if it's all here, but as you can see, a recent listing says 243 pieces sold for $47 plus shipping. So for $3.99, that is a risk we'll take. Not only was that an awesome risk to take, but when we got home and we opened it up, it actually had all 300 pieces and they were still in the bags. Not only that, but because of the supply chain issues, there is actually a higher demand right now for Lincoln Logs or Lincoln Log type toys. These are actually compatible with Lincoln Logs, so we actually priced them for $79.99 free shipping. Another possible winner here. So it's got the stickers on it, it's in good condition. Still has the stickers and it's pretty common size, seven and three eighths. They want $3.99 for it. Typically with hats like this, you can get at least 20 to 25. They're easy to store, easy to ship. So this is always something to look out for. I feel you, dude. I feel you. It's hard to see, but this says Hartman luggage. It's an old vintage style briefcase. Let's see if it, right, that one unlocked. Oh, nice. It's like a, um, uh, this has a uh, specific, this is called something. I can't remember what it's called. Paisley, it's called Paisley. This is probably worth a lot of money. $7.99, Stacy found it. We'll go ahead and get that. And boy, were we ever right. Yes, this is worth a lot. This is actually a vintage hard shell briefcase. Hartman makes very fine products. And we found anywhere from 120 up to $400 used for this 
on eBay. So we priced it at $149.99 because we don't have the keys, but it does lock and unlock. Um, and we're hoping that it sells for like $130 to $149.99. So we were there about 30 minutes, which is your typical lunch break. We ended up picking up four items. We got the glasses, the Alabama Championship whiskey glasses. We got the Caesars hat. We got the Lincoln logs or the timber tumblers. And we picked up the briefcase. So we ended up spending $19.00. And we should be able to make about $250. Again, 30 minutes turning $19 into $250. That is probably more than you make for your Christmas bonus working at your nine to five. What's a Christmas bonus? Don't spend too long in one category. If you notice that the shoes are all priced high, then move on to clothes or move on to hard goods, toys, plush, whatever. Just try to find profitable items. You can definitely take advantage of lunch breaks to make more money. Again, this is for anybody that is part-time or just looking to bring on some extra income. This is a great stepping stone to get you into a habit of what to look for. So if you do decide to go full-time, you'll already have the foundation set. So like, share, subscribe, maybe tell your friends. Check out any of our older videos and we will see you on the next one. Ah.